Hello and welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a vegan version of my meat samosas. And these samosas are actually very, very good as a substitute if you don't eat meat. They taste amazing. So let's get cooking. For this recipe, you'll need one cup or 70 grams of dry soy mince, a half a cup or 120 ml of boiling water and I'll be mixing a tiny bit of the Marmite in there and that's optional but it helps to give the vegan meat samosas some umami. The first thing we'll do is to mix in the dry soy mint into the boiling water and leave that aside to be absorbed. You'll need 170 grams of chopped up onions, or this is about one and a half medium onions. One teaspoon of oil, one cinnamon stick, three cloves, and you need to pick out the biggest cloves you can find. And you want to remember how many you have because we'll be picking these out. A quarter of a teaspoon of cumin seeds, one to three green chilies, I'm using two, a half a teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, a tiny pinch of clove powder, because clove powder is very strong in flavor, two tablespoons of chopped coriander, and a quarter cup of petite peas, and the juice of a quarter of a lime, so about a half a teaspoon. To wrap the samosas, you can use spring roll pastry and cut it into strips, or you can buy the already cut samosa pastry. I tend not to make samosa pastry from scratch because I think making samosas is actually quite a bit of effort, and I like to save time, and these are actually really good. To make the paste to stick the samosa pastry together, you'll need a quarter cup of plain flour and two tablespoons of water. Room temperature water is fine. And to fry the samosas, you'll need some oil. So I'm using sunflower oil. The first thing to do is to chop up your green chilies finely. Now that we have our ingredients ready, we're ready to cook. So you want to get a large frying pan like this, preferably non-stick. And I'm using my fairly large ring over here because I want there to be quite a good heat, a medium high heat. So I'm gonna start my stove. So my pan is heating up for a few seconds and now I'm gonna add my oil. And we're going to add the cinnamon stick and the three cloves. Now that the cloves and the cinnamon stick are starting to sizzle, I'm going to add my green chilies. And two thirds of the onions. along with the cumin seeds and the soy mixture. And just mix that in. And sprinkle the salt on. And we just want the onions to soften up a little bit and then we'll add the remaining ingredients. Now this has just taken a minute or two and the onions are starting to change color. Now because this is soy mince, it's not going to release as much water as meat would and if you feel like it's too dry and you want to add a little bit of water, Add it by the teaspoonful because you don't want there to be too much water in here. Now I'm going to add the peas so that they can cook a little bit in here too. And 
and we'll just let this cook for about a minute or so, not very long. Okay, so it's been about a minute. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle in the cinnamon powder and the clove powder. Mix that in and then I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna let this cool. While it's cooling down, be sure to give it a stir every now and then. And then once it's cool enough to handle, go ahead and remove the cloves and the cinnamon stick. So there's one cinnamon stick, there's one, two, and three cloves. And now we're going to add the chopped coriander, the lime juice, and the remaining chopped onions. And we'll give that a good mix in. Once you've mixed it in really well, you can go ahead and taste it and see if you need to add any more salt or lime juice or any more seasonings but I think you're gonna be happy with it. Now we're gonna let this cool completely before we start filling the samosas. This amount of filling for the vegan samosas makes between like 16 to 18 samosa, depending on how much filling you put in each samosa. So if you want to multiply the amount that you make, you can and it'll turn out fine. All right, now we're gonna get the pastry ready. So I have my pastry here that's been defrosted. It's just been sitting out on the counter for an hour or so. I need a large chopping board, a pair of scissors, and a cloth that I've just dampened a little bit to cover the pastry so it doesn't dry out. Now, once we have our pastry here, we actually want to separate the sheets, but we want to have two sheets together. We don't want to do them individually because we're gonna double pastry each samosa. So make sure you have two sheets. Now sometimes the sheets want to separate, but as much as you can, try and keep them together because it's very hard to fold the pastry into the samosa pastry shape once they're separated. And then just cover them with a damp cloth. So do all of the sheets like that. So now all our pastry sheets are separated into two sheets stuck together and we're going to cut them into three equal strips. So I'm going to take a couple of pastry sheets and do them all at the same time. And the one on top we're going to make fold marks so we can measure where we're going to cut. Okay, so this one I'm gonna fold into thirds. So we can see the lines here, and that's where we're gonna cut. All right, so we have our strips ready to go. And now I'm gonna make sure that it's covered with our damp cloth. And I've got my water here, the two tablespoons of water and the quarter cup of plain flour. So I'm gonna make my glue. And you just stick that together Put your finger in there and just swirl it around and it will become a sticky paste. 
And if you want to add more water, you definitely can. Yeah, I'm going to need some more water, so I'm going to add a little bit more water in here. So that was about three tablespoons of water that I added in here and you just basically want to make it into a sticky paste and that's all. There you go. See that consistency? It's gluey. Now to fold the samosas we're just going to take one of the strips that we cut and we're going to find the middle of the strip which is right about here and it's fine if it's not exact and then just fold that corner and you can see here that this is the basic shape of the samosa triangle then fold the other side over and match it up and there you go and we're going to tape or glue or stick this side down There you go. So you can see this side is glued and here's your pocket and you have to make sure there's no hole that you can see at the bottom. I grabbed a spoon and I've got my vegan filling here so we're just gonna put a couple of teaspoons full in here. You don't want to overfill it. Keep a little bit of room. So there you go that one's filled. And then hold this down and make sure these corners are all closed properly and then you just glue here stick it on and then stick this on And any bits like that that are sticking up just stick a little bit of the paste there and you can stick it on and there you go you have a perfect samosa ready to fry so once you get these ready then put them under the cloth as well you might want to get a tray to add all your ready-made samosas there let's do another one we have our strip Find the middle, which is about here, fold, fold again, and we're going to just make sure that that little corner is overlapped. And then here is where we put the paste to stick it down. Turn it over, and there you go, you've got your pocket. So when you open it in the middle there, you do not want to see a hole. Go ahead and put your filling in. That's a little bit too much. So you want to make sure that you have a little bit of space at the top so that you can overlap the corners so that they close. There you go. And then just stick the open ends together. Now we're ready to fry. So I have my karai here. If you don't have one of these, then you can use a wok or a similar pan. And I've got my oil for deep frying. I've got a slotted spoon ready. And I've got a tray lined with newspaper and paper towels on top. So I'm gonna start my stove here on a fairly high heat and I'm going to add the oil to it. So we want the oil to heat up to a fairly high temperature, not too high but like fairly high so that I'll throw a piece of pastry in there and I'll show you what it should look like and how it should respond. And I have uh, just under an inch of oil in there. You don't need like to fill it up about an inch is okay. 
Now, if you don't like frying, what you could do with the filling is fill it into some puff pastry and stick that in the oven. Or I have tried um, like spreading some oil on the samosas on the outside and then sticking it in my air fryer. And they come out fairly good, but frying is really the best. Your pastry comes out really nice and crisp. So if you're going to have samosas, you're only going to have them once in a while. I recommend frying them. So I'm going to throw a tiny piece of pastry into the oil and see how it responds. Oh, that was good. It sprung up right away. So I'm going to put some of my samosas in here now. So this color looks just right, so I'm going to remove them. You don't want them to go too brown. These are a lovely golden brown color. And then just add some more. Now these samosas taste amazing with my green coriander chutney and with a squeeze of lemon on them. So I'm going to try the vegan one. Mm. Really good. Pastry is really nice and crispy and the filling, you can't really tell that it's not meat. It tastes really good. Mmm, yummy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all soon for some more cooking inspiration. Mm. That is good. Mmm. <laughs>